In this video, I want to show you some helpful tips when working with PDF files using Altair Monarch. Now, one of the biggest challenges we see when it comes to organizing data within companies is that data sources tend to be in different formats, coming from different sources, and those could be Excel files, text files, or even PDFs. So let's look at how easy it can be to use PDF files within Altair Monarch. So I have this PDF file, and it's just basic, generic test data for different lakes around the country. And I want to bring it into Monarch so I can combine this with other data that I have on the topic. Now there are two options when it comes to importing PDF files. The PDF table extractor would look at a PDF and look for different tables of data within blocks of text and import them as separate data sources. Or the PDF report, which is what I'm going to do here, is better for PDF files that are solely data. So I'll find my file here. And now on the initial import, Monarch does its best to align everything correctly. And in most cases, it does it correct on the first import. But for this example, I wanted to show you an example of a file that might have some issues with the alignment. So we're gonna see that here. So in general, my data looks okay, but I can see the third column here is not quite lined up properly. So on the ribbon, I'm gonna come up to the engine mode and find the expert option. So you can see here, it shows some of the column left and right alignments that it imports by itself. I'm gonna clear those so I can show you how to do it manually. Now I can find my first column of data and once I click on it, the option of add L or add R populate in the ribbon. So this is the left or right alignment. So you can see as I grab each header for the columns that I wanna create and I'm hitting left align, everything is aligning properly right to the header. It even works really well when you have a space or gaps between that line and your first set of text. Okay, now I wanted to show you when this happens. Sometimes when the columns are a little bit too close together or the alignment snap is too close, the columns have a hard time figuring out which set of data goes in which column. It's really easy to fix by going up to the header, grabbing that alignment, and just sliding it, so it makes it a little bit clearer for Monarch to understand which data goes where. So I'll finish up my alignments, and then come up here to the left-hand corner and hit Accept, and that will take me into the report design part of Monarch. Now here in the report design, I'll create some traps. Traps are a way to organize your data based on the different data properties. So when you start manipulating or combining your data later on, you have a little bit more intelligence built in. So there's a few types of traps I can create. A standard trap is one that includes data like whether it's alpha or numeric, or whether it's a date or time, or even if it's just empty or not empty. Now a floating trap is ideal for when the data might not be rigidly fixed, like a web page, or it has some alignment issues. That's when a floating trap would be great. And a rejects trap is used when you have some sample data properties that you wanted to scan your data set for and create some traps that way. Now, one way I can create a trap is I can find the first record or row of my data, right click it and hit create new detailed template. Then if I click the little magic wand on the left hand side, it'll go to each column where it detects data and add that trap information. So you can see for each column, it added a blank trap on the column right to the left of my data, and then a not empty trap above the columns with my data. Now, another way to do the same thing is to clear this and hit the auto define button here on the left. Monarch will scan your data and based on how it's organized and create these traps for you. You can even see a little preview here below it as well. Then one last way you can create these traps is to do it manually. I can go back and do my right click create template detail, and then I can manually go through and add the different symbols in the uh, bar above my data. Now that I feel good about my data, I can hit accept and it will import the file into Monarch so I can start combining this with other data sources or cleaning the data if needed. Now with the Monarch server license option, I have the ability to automate all the steps I just did. It's similar to a macro in Excel. So I'm not manually importing, aligning, and creating these traps for every different PDF file I have to import. So overall, I hope this helps you with your PDF import needs. If you have any other questions, reach out to us at trueinsight.io. Thanks.